That's Rivers Crossing by Elvis on Nebraska's 97.9, The Herd. Good morning. Joey Roberts with you. It's 9 a.m. on this Monday morning. And, hey, don't forget, coming up this weekend is the Red Marble Bulls Bowling for a Cause. Make sure to get over there and register for this great event that I myself, I'm going to be there. So I want to see you there as well. Get on over to the Red Marble Bowl for Bowling for a Cause this weekend. You will not regret it. It's going to be a great time. Also, um, let's talk about this Hay Springs and Rushville game last night, right? I mean, I think the whole town... Hey guys, welcome to Green Valley, Nebraska. Welcome to my humble abode here as I'm renting this place right now. Um, just outside of the town of Rushville is just down there. You can see the, the water tower there. And I'm not moving today. Uh, we're not going to go anywhere. What we're doing is uh, I just bought a farm field in Fair Oaks. Well, it, it's the region's called Fair Oaks. It's named after a uh, farm that used to be active out there uh, has since closed up and I've actually bought one of their fields and um, you know I've just been saving forever working in town and now we're finally able to uh, get there I, I just came back from the closing so we're able to drive over there and I'm able to show you um, a little bit around so let me hop on the bike here um, and I'll show you around a little bit All right, so we'll head out to Fair Oaks. And we're going to just miss the city here of Rushville, but this is where I do all my business, things like that. There's another uh, another town south of here. But usually I can just get everything done in Rushville. Uh, I do go down to Hay Springs, uh, that, that town down south. Uh, I do go down there every now and then. They do have some things that... Uh, that Rushville doesn't have, but mostly, you know, a good sized town. I get everything done here. Now, we're headed out, as I said, to the field, and uh, this farm up here used to be huge. I mean, it used to be, it used to be a huge operating farm. They have since uh, let the fields go. Um, you know, the family doesn't, isn't here anymore. I just look both ways so I don't get hit. Usually not a lot of traffic out here, as you can imagine, but these two fields right here are rented. Uh, by another area farmer. This one, see, you can see is already getting here. and We're already in August, so, you know, it, farm season is, is starting to wrap down, you know, a little bit. We've got a couple more months here, but we're going to be approaching this farm, Fair Oaks Farm. It was a family farm. It was run, I don't know, 200 years, something like that, and then, uh, you know, the last generation just, you know, passed away a few years ago, and it's just kind of sat there for the for the last couple of years. There, there it is, right there. It's as you can see, a big operation. And just, just a massive, massive farm there. And you see beyond there is the BGA. And he's got this other field over here that's being rented right now as well for the year. They do re yearly rentals, so. Obviously, if somebody were to buy them, that would that would put an end to the rental. And that's somebody, hopefully, will be me one day. But here we are, right over the bridge. I bought this property, if I could steer this thing. I bought this property. We need some work, but uh, I think it'll be all right. So let's just get off the bike and look around.
and we'll just look around a little bit. I'll I'll actually just walk through the field. Look at this field. It's got weeds. It's withered. It looks like somebody just dumped a bunch of ash on it, and uh, <laughs> it's everything that we don't want it to be. Let, let's just be honest. Now, when we're walking across this uh, this horrible field here, I'm gonna walk over to the uh, to the river. I'll let you know, uh, I, I am not rich, right? So we got this place because I, I, I've been saving for years. But in addition to that, uh, I got this place knowing that I would, my employer would be able to uh, help me out a little bit. I work at the Rushville Farm Store. We do do um, rentals and leases and, and even pur uh, purchases. You can purchase a, a new tractor or implement over there. So cheap plug. But uh this is the river right here, and uh, man, let's let's feel. Yeah, cool, cool water on this August day always always a good thing. Uh, but yeah, the store has been really great for me. Um, you know, I've worked out some deals where you know I'm just gonna work and just give them my paycheck basically to to lease and rent things because. These things are expensive, uh, and they know that, but, you know, I'm going to get a little bit of an employee discount, but, you know, obviously with new equipment, I won't, but leasing and renting and things like that, uh, I might be able to, to swing a couple deals, but I knew that uh, going into this. Um, I've got a few dollars saved up so that we can spend, so it's going to look like I have a lot of money to begin, but trust me, I don't. Let's get on the bike. All right, so that's the field. Um, you know, it's very bad shape. I, I don't know why I'm even avoiding it. I should just drive hit it. Can't get much worse. But yeah, up here, um, if you look, uh, we'll have to for traffic. But the left there, that's Hay Springs, and then this is Rushville. Hay Springs just uh, came up to Rushville and lost in a basketball game last night. I wasn't there. I heard a lot of people were. I was I was busy doing some stuff, but now we're headed up to the Rushville Farm Store. Of course, I said that's where I work. Um, I'm not scheduled to work today. I'm actually uh, scheduled to talk to one of my coworkers about his truck. Uh, he has it for sale, so we're gonna need a truck for what we're doing. So I want to see if maybe uh, it's something that we can buy. So and look at these farm fields; they're just great. As far as you can see here, out here in Nebraska. And also long drives. So I'm going to turn this off until we get closer to the store. Uh, it's just all the way up this road and then hang a left past my house. I live pretty close to the store. Unfortunately, I don't live pretty close to the farm field that we're getting. But, you know, there are bigger problems. So I'll shut this off for now and pick it up when we get closer. All right, so we are a few seconds from getting to the Rushville Farm Store. And like I said, uh, I got a coworker, Jeremy. He's gonna let us look at the truck that he is selling. Uh, he takes pretty good care of things, so I was interested when he said that he had his truck for sale because we need a truck. We have this bike here. So let's just uh, pop on over here. Oh, oh, get off the grass, get off the grass, get off the grass. And coming cool, like nothing happened. Hopefully nobody saw that. I gotta look, let's see. Any marks? Uh, not bad. I mean, there is one, but not bad. Anyway, let's get in there and see if Jeremy's around. I saw you. What do you mean? I saw you drive up there like a maniac through the grass. Oh, right. Sorry about that. N no marks, though. Hmm. Well, you're not scheduled to work today, so what's going on? Well, Jeremy told me I could test drive his truck to see if I wanted to buy it. Oh, oh, right, right. He did mention that. Uh, getting hard to remember in my old age. Your, your old age? Frank, you're in your 50s. Well, I feel older. A anyway, yeah, he told me that it's out back. Here are the keys. All right. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate it. Feels old. All right, now let's get out back here and look for Jeremy's truck. Should be around here. 
Oh, there it is right there. The nice mallard green one. Hey, I don't pick the colors, but it, it is a nice truck. There it is. He keeps good good care of it. Takes good care of it. And uh, the inside, I've, I've rode with him to lunch one time. Uh, man, oh man, it's, it's nice inside too. So, there you go. There's the bed. Hop on here. And now we'll check on the inside there. See, it looks really nice. So, I mean, we'll get it in a minute. Drive it around the yard, but the old Ford. I think he said he wanted 45 for it. 4,500. Which, I mean, you know, the condition it's in. Start it up here. Oh, got some power to her like that we'll just drive it around the yard here that way we don't have to worry about anything but look at how nice this interior is everything is just real nice yeah i like the way it drives everything seems fine this is basically a formality i mean i know jeremy i know he takes care of his stuff so i know this will be nice Yeah. Frank's probably looking inside like, what are you doing? Tends to be a little uptight about things. That's all right. Oh, yeah. There you go. There we go. I like this. I like this truck. Everything is, is good about this truck. So we're going to go park the truck and uh, stop having Frank ask questions inside. But yeah, I think we're going to get it. You know, um, 4500 decent price. I know he's got a lot of things updated on this thing. And you can tell the interior is new. Everything's just taken really good care of. go back that up and we're here all right now we'll head back uh to the house i'm gonna grab some lunch real quick i'll text jeremy about uh about the truck but uh yeah see you in a few the rushville farm store man i i really do like working there uh frank who we just met he's my boss um he can be a little uptight but most of the time just a really nice guy uh, the owner of the place and just really excited for the journey that I'm about to go on trying to start my own farm from basically nothing I mean he you know I've worked there the last five years and he's seen me save up all this money he's seen me buy the land he helped me buy the land uh, in terms of you know navigating the sale and things like that so just a really uh, good friend and a really big part of this and helping me so like I said we'll get back and we will text message Jeremy it's his day off too I know he's working as am I tomorrow and just to clarify I'm not a mechanic I'm not a sales guy I'm basically a delivery guy over there at the at the farm store but also, uh, you know, just do random odd jobs. You know, I'm the one who mows the lawn. I'm the one who cleans up a little bit out there. So I just kind of do any, anything and everything for Frank just to help the business run smoother. As like I said, I've been there the last five years, so I know all the guys over there. I've known Jeremy for a while, so I don't want to bug him on his day off uh, and interrupt him with a phone call. So we'll text him when, when we get to the uh, to the trailer there and figure out from there what to do but I did like the truck and I think that it will help us quite a bit I mean obviously we can you know load stuff and do things like that but also uh, it's about to get colder as I said earlier and um, you know it's <laughs> it's not gonna be fun with the bike so we'll pull in here neighbors home Nice guy. I don't really know him. I haven't really talked to him all that much, but 
decent guy keeps to himself. We'll turn this off and uh, go get some food. Well, I guess I'll text Jeremy first. Let me just shoot him a text. All right. And we'll wait for him to respond. Could be a minute, um, but... For now, I'm going to go in and uh, get some food because, as you can tell, I've said it so many times now, I am hungry. So, I'll be right back with you. Alright, so just ate some lunch and now we're going to head into town for a sec. Oh, hold on. Okay, let me just text him back real quick. And all right, there we go. All right, now the last part of our day, uh, I got to get over to the bowling alley in town. They're having a special bullathon. I wanted to just uh, donate a couple bucks to the cause and get over there and do that. So, and I figured, you know, I would bring you guys with me because you would be able to see a little bit of the uh, city of Rushville and city is used very uh, generously there's not a ton of people that live here but uh, you know it's a, it's a fairly large sized town I'll say that there's the farmers market on the left there I do a little bit of my shopping there there's the Casey's on the left get their gas from obviously there we have an Applebee's and the fire department here on the left Mexican place is really good. Really good burritos there. Car dealership. A couple other just, you know, big companies and things like that. And the Wendy's on the right there on the corner. And, of course, the red uh, sign down here is the bowling alley. Look over there. There's Main Street. Up. Oh, all right. Looks like Jeremy texted me back. I guess we'll look at that real quick. See what that is. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to hop into the bowling alley. That is it for episode one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, uh, please subscribe for more. Follow my journey. But uh, for now, we are going to get into this bowling alley and uh, put a couple dollars down for a good cause. Have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.